Hello there, welcome back to PHP Rad Frontend Blog. <coughs> In our last tutorial, I showed you guys a brief, a brief introduction to what we are, be, we are going to be doing in this course so in this lesson i'm going to show you how to the tables we are going to use so we are going to make the tables we are going to use to make a blog to start with i will open my php rad so we are creating a new project <coughs> i should have done this long ago before you know just starting straightforward with the work but i think there is a need of starting a project from scratch so that my audience can you know know how i deal with my table making and stuff like that so i'm going to name this one blog blog and we are going to create a new database we we'll call it blog blog db that's database and we create all right i'm going to make use of this icon pack i i i love it a lot simple line so database has no table add table to the database to continue of course the number one table we like to add here is our article this table is going to house all the articles we have so uh, in this table we need a field header the field with headline we need our uh, img we need our article or description and then we need um, people would like to know who posted it so we need publisher publisher we need to also date it was created we like um, date updated as well Another thing we, that is very important for us is tag, you know, for every article you are going to post on your blog, you have to tag it to something. Is it a science related article? Is it a medical related article? Is it sport? Is it politics? Is it about celebrities? So with this thing, um, our application can also suggest um, articles to people based on what they are reading so if you are reading a science related article our blog will also suggest more science related articles to you so we can say um, tag we name it tag not tags so since we are talking about tag let's create another table here and we call it tags our tag name Since we have the ID and we have the name, some people go down to making a category and stuff. You know, this thing makes it, you know, it breaks things down and it makes the suggestion very, very unique and specific. But that's not what we're coming to do, you know. We create another table and currently we are, this table will be the comment table. This table will house all the comments that we'll be having in our blog so very important thing is the id and another thing is the post or the article id with this article id we can bind our comment to a particular article and then we'd like to know the username the person that is going to post you know you have to type your name then you submit and also we would like to know his email address it's not compulsory email and of course the msg that is the message you are passing we would like to have the date if you like you make a date created 
or probably just date. Alright, <clears throat> we are almost done. You can, you know, go ahead and add um, username, you know, like users. And this table will house all something like username, username, password, email, you know, if you like to have something like login section with something like you want to make use of authentication with your blog you can go ahead and add this table users password email address um what else do we need img is not is, is important you know i think is that is that is that right is that right sometimes we need first name so that people won't just know our username they can know something else first name and last name first name and last name and we are almost done another thing we are coming to you we may you may like to make use is um i think i think i've forgotten all right yeah another thing you may is the subscription table subscriptions subscriptions where we have our email address and you know that's all people may not want you to know their name because they subscribe to your account they just want to have their just you get their email address so that's all with this email address you can think it should be email not emails with this email address you can forward things to people so mind you that I'm not I didn't concentrate more on the ID like this ID because PHP is going to use it as a primary key and is an, is an auto integer and it's going to give you the maximum character is 11 when I say 11 I mean having a character like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so imagine a number that can have 11 characters so this one this two this three almost 19 it can house up to 99 billion records so i think we don't need to add anything here is enough for us and we can talk about auto encrypt i don't know all right so this is the table we need for our blog <coughs> when you look at it we have about the number one the major one followed by the attack <coughs> i'm sorry our comment the users and subscriptions so let's go ahead and preview our work yes project is almost done these are home these are article we have no article we can go ahead and add some stuff here you know but before we start adding stuff we want these dates to add themselves by default so articles date we want we come to add section the date created should be date and time now and date updated should be date and time now then we want we don't want to update the date the day we are adding it you know we just want to show it when you are add when you're adding a new record you shouldn't get this update date and when you are editing a record you shouldn't get this 
so we toggle them off as you can see it's off here and it's off here good and another thing is the publisher if we are using authentication so let's should we use it um i think yes so let's use authentication this authentication will be for anybody that want to publish something on our blog we need to know who you are so your username have to be your username your password have to be your password user id mm, user id should be id email address should be email address then our profile img should be prof img I think we are good to go okay we can choose the pages we don't want to you know the authentication to have effect on obviously we don't want it to have effect on article list um should we let's skip that one for now okay we'll preview our work All right, as you can see, it doesn't have effect on articles. But what if we want it to have effect on article? Just uncheck it and say, okay. Good, you have to log in before you can access the article. So let's create a new user here. I'll call this guy front end. Front end. And that will be the username front end zero one one two three four that will be my password two three four that will be my password email address admin Let's choose a profile picture for myself. Um, I like to choose this guy. Yeah. So my first name is going to be Tuzik. Tuzik, and my last name is going to be official. Submitted. Good. So because we have logged in. As you can see we have all these tables um, we can now assess our articles good so um, we want the publisher we want this to bear the name of the user all right so we come to our publisher by default is going to be user ID we we'll preview it again all right so let's give it a title first blog on our tutorial first blog on our tutorial isn't that awesome i think it is what actually are we going to talk about let th let's talk about um, something like computer stuff okay let's let's talk about this guy all right article um let's pick some some article from from something like lorem ipsums and stuff i have one here okay what are we going to tag this thing i will tag this thing let's say let's tag it science let's tag it science and we submit good we have gotten an article so we can you can go on and on you know and create more field for yourself so I'm going to do that then we are going to add some tag here this tag we are coming to call this guy science we are coming to call this one um, politics Polit We need sports, of course. We need something like business. You know, you add more to your tag so that we can pick from the tag. But that's not, you know, you can go on and add and add and add. So another thing we want to do is we set this article. Um, 
instead of adding like sports typing in by ourselves we can easily pick it from these tags we already have here so we come to our tag and say it, when you wanted to select from 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 a data wanted to select from this tag the value will be we can make the value to be id and but let's give it written the name so that we just keep going something about football mm, this thing does none of this looks like a football but let's pick um some some random picture by the way doesn't matter so as you can see just pick spot and summit good so you can go on and add and add and add and add to your table so in our next class we are going to look at how to design this table <coughs> how to design this um navigation bar then we move down to how to you know bring this tag to our home page so that our users can click on it i will see you guys in the next lecture just make sure you save your project I'll, we make it block block so i'll save it i'll catch you in the next lesson <laughs>